Good morning! So, Vanquish, a brand that I'm working with, is flying me out to LA for my first ever, you know, fitness creator event, photo shoot, whatever you call it. So, of course, I'm taking y'all with me. Every day you wake up, it's not always gonna be a good day, but every day is a blessing. Love y'all! Let's go! Mwah. I'm about to go on a six hour flight. We haven't had anything in our system yet, and it's like 9 a.m. Which means we're not gonna eat anything until three. So we're not gonna eat anything until dinner. So me and my mom got some food. Oh, some Asian food. And boom. Yeah. Boom. I got some Singaporean noodles and my mom got fried rice. Yo, we have arrived and boom. We're in it away. I'm pack, getting some in know, and out. And I don't want to like. My first in and out. Kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like it's about to land on my head. It's crazy. What the hell? All right, we're at the room, boy. We're at the hotel. We're about to enter the room. Here we go. Let's go to the room. Boom! Oh my god! Oh my god! We arrived. We in LA, boy. That's what's up. We are in. L A. Oh, this is from VQ. Look at this. We have the new Enhance collection that is going to be out soon. We have a shirt. We have some scrunchie. What is this called? Bro, I can't speak English. Anyways, welcome to Vanquish Los Angeles. We're so excited to have you here in LA. Here's some goods to make you feel that little bit more special. All right, my love. Let's unbox this together. I have no idea what this is. I never heard of this brand before. I bought Lion. But let's check out. It says Nancy on the box. Oh, oh my, my god. god. It's a necklace. It has the letter N on it. That is so cool. Oh my god. It's a necklace. Oh my god, there's more, guys. There's a little Nancy on it. We have one more thing. Let's open it to see what it is. I can't open it, but it's not opening. I can't open it. <laughs> How do I open this? Oh, here we go. Boom. It's a bracelet. It's a bracelet. My mom is judging me. My mom is just be like, so very cute. Love that. I don't own any jewelry, specifically gold jewelry. So this is good. This is very cute. We arrived at the hotel and I want to give y'all a little room tour. This is my mom. She's not a part of the room package. Let's see the toilet. Boom, here we go. That's me. Hello. Good morning. It's officially day one of being in LA. Why is my hair looking like this? Anyways, it's officially day one and now we're quickly going to breakfast before going back and get ready for the shoot day. If y'all can notice, I am having minimal makeup on. Fire! Just eye makeup and some stuff because um, I'm gonna have my makeup done. So mm. anyways, let's go to breakfast. Y'all guess who this is? Hello. That's little Tiff Fitness right there. That's who's living on your For You page right there. Are She's you real. You're on everyone's For You page. <laughs> no, you're on everyone's. Oh my friends are like, yo, have you seen this girl? I'm like, I know her. I know her. <laughs> I'm just like a, a junior version of Latif Fitness. <laughs> Look, she's real, guys. She is real. We're going to breakfast. Oh. We have breakfast, boy. We have breakfast. Come to lunch. I got an avocado toast. My mom got a acai bowl. Rồi, cái món kia món kia món kia gì đây? Đồ này là ăn ngắn. Cái gì gì? Yo, yo uống. No. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is the, the, the outfit of the day. I'm going to bring this for the Venice Beach content later. And this is going to be probably for tomorrow. But I'm just going to bring it this just in case. All right. All right, guys. Ignore how dirty. My room is not looking the best right now. Ignore that. But we need to hurry up. I need to be in down in the lobby in five minutes. So let's pack with me real quick. And my phone charger. Very important. My phone charger we should w bring one of these home <laughs> yo we arrived at global fitness first time kind of nervous this is taylor hello hi boom we arrived at global fitness behind the scenes behind the scenes hey well that's me i'm dead it's the way everyone else picture like so like oh cute and i'm just oh. <laughs> That's me. I'm debating. This is looking so good right now. And the yogurt out there is also looking so good. But I need to shoot. And I need to not be bloated right now. So 
See you later, baby. Oh, like, no way. Oh my god. <laughs> My chemistry uh, lab report. Better used. Yeah. Y'all little tea finish it says she doesn't really stretch. Only sometimes. Amazon <laughs> use. Our our public has you must have. Oh my god, guys, we're getting my makeup and hair done professionally for the first time. This is Kim, she's gonna do my hair in Kim We Trust. I never like got my hair like properly styled before. This is a before. I'm about to have a make a little makeover. <laughs> so I was like going to college in Iowa for four years uh-huh and just moved to Long Island to live with my friend for a little bit and I might move to LA in like a few months or something a few months wow, I might I haven't like I haven't looked at anything housing ha anything yet but I love just it. the thought <laughs> yeah the thought's nice uh-huh but this is actually my first time in LA okay I've lived in America for like four years but all Wait, I've ever been to like, like yeah. Iowa and Minnesota, that's it. Oh, I love that. That's, that's very American. <laughs> right? Yeah. Very American. Like most Amer what were you studying in school? Um, Visual communication. Okay. But I just graduated. Is your family still in Vietnam? Yeah, they are. Oh. My mom is actually visiting from mm -hmm. Vietnam for three weeks. Oh, that's so nice. So she's in the hotel right now just chilling. Because oh, so she nice. can't speak English. So like, I, like, I don't want her to like navigate around LA and then get lost and like, get kidnapped. Or city. Oh, no. She yeah. like, get kidnapped. But it is a big city for mm -hmm. sure. Makeup done. Hair is almost done. Here we go. Bye bye. Done. Time to actually work. Time for work. Yeah. And look badass. Just look badass. Look badass. Yeah. And just look around. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Maybe not so hot. Okay, baby. Keep it eye level. Yeah, don't. Okay. Wait, look badass and no smiling? Second outfit of the day. Is my dad looking blind a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. It's like a subtle flex. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, don't try too much. Sweet. Good. Can I have like one more double vibe? Yeah. Is that what I mean? Like, you know, eat. Get those lots out there. Woo! We're going home to rest. We're going to go to dinner later. Mom has been waiting for me all day. And she. Food is finally coming. This is what my mom got. She got spring steak with baby artichokes. Boom. And I got the I got the pasta Del Mar. Boom. Munchie. I'm so happy. I've been eating good lately. Cause yeah. before that, I was just like eating college cafeteria food. I don't care if y'all don't eat shrimp toes. I'm Vietnamese. I eat shrimp toes. Yeah. What? That's what's up. Good morning. Let's do a little, little recap, little day one recap why I finished my makeup. This is the morning of day two. And today we only have a mixed shoot. Yesterday was a female shoot and today was the male shoot. So all of us girls have the whole morning off until two and then we'll join the guys for a mixed shoot. 
at 2.30. Two things I learned from day one. The first thing, number one thing I learned is just is learning to say yes to things that are good for you even though you don't think you're ready or even though you don't think that you're good enough. I'm super new to fitness industry and I live in a college bubble. My last, like since I started, content creation i literally didn't know any like fitness creators in the space because bro how am i supposed to know i'm i was in a little small college town in iowa how am i supposed to know everyone so this was like the first time i get to meet a lot of like fitness creators fellow fitness creators and they're all so con well connected they know so many people and a lot of them are like are in the industry for like a minute now these people are look like all professional and like i feel like i'm gonna be like the smallest person there I'm not trying to put all y'all on some like body dysmorphia type beat but it's just the reality like these the people that like we're in the shoot they're all like either a bodybuilder or like power lifter they're all so cool and jacked and big and i'm literally like i literally don't look like i lift sometimes don't even say this is not even body dysmorphia this is just fact because they're professional and i'm not so i was like shit like but i did it anyways because well boy i came all over here to la not to just come back home <laughs> What I learned is like, say yes to things that you don't think you're ready yet because if you don't give yourself a chance at trying, like, when are you ever gonna get better? Like, this is because it's my first shoot, my first professional shoot, so I was literally so confused, so lost a lot of time, like, I didn't know how to pose, I didn't know how to, like, like, how my face supposed to look like, but, like, it's my first time, like, I'm not supposed to know everything, I'm not supposed to be perfect, and it's okay because it's my first time. The second time, the third time around, I'm gonna be better. And that's, it's all learning curve. It's okay if you're like not perfect. Like how are you supposed to be perfect if you, if it's your first time doing something. And also like, I was like, bro, how do people look jacked to 24 seven? Because I literally had like a whole ass lunch and I was loaded as hell. And that boy was squeezing the shit out of the abs because like my solo shoot was like after the lunch, right after lunch, so I was like the whole food belly. So I, it was just another struggle. I'm like, how do the models look like they have apps all the time? That's the first thing I learned. Say yes to thing, even though you don't think you're ready or you're good enough, that's BS. You're allowed to learn, you're allowed to grow and improve and you're allowed to be an amateur. That leads me to the second lesson I learned is that everyone has their own path and their path is not yours and comparison is the thief of joy. Like I, I feel like I've lived by this principle my whole entire content creation journey but it's like his heart. Like it his heart. Like it's easy to think about it and just reassure myself when I'm just like in my little college bubble not seeing anyone like any fitness creator in person. It's harder when you're like in real life in like flesh with like all these people and I just realized like all these people they're all doing professional things. They are bodybuilders, they are power lifter and I'm just a girl like I realized that I'm not super good at anything like y'all know me y'all if y'all know know me y'all must think that I'm like the most confident person alive I mean yeah I'm rooting myself and I'm confident but there were moments then my mind was like eh, and I was like I'm a little insecure like everyone here seems so professional and I'm just a girl lifting for fun doing in the gym for fun and I'm not super good at anything but then I realized you know what comparison is a thief of joy and everyone has their own path and like other people they've been doing this thing forever and I just started content creation literally last year i shouldn't be harsh on myself i will look up to those people and be inspired instead of like feeling like i'm not good enough or i like something because i'm a new bee to the industry so it's fine like it's fine if i'm not super good at anything because i'm still learning i'm still growing i'm still fighting my gems and it's all my street art at least i have personality i i don't have a lot of muscles i don't have crazy strength but i got a personality Okay, time enough time to yeah, let's go to eat breakfast with my mom because she's probably so hungry there. All right, boy. The plan for today is to eat breakfast. My mom has been sitting there hungry while I'm getting ready. Eat breakfast and get back and um maybe take some photos for her so she can feed her Facebook. And then we will get back and I'll edit my reels and YouTube videos because I've been like, you know, that. And I need to get in the zone to to feel some, you know, to feel centered. In life again. Sipping on matcha latte. All right, this is me. What me and my mom been mentioning, bro. I just realized this is called a side bowl. When I ordered it, I literally say a kai bowl. <laughs> my mom got the burritos. What was that breakfast burritos? So she about to munch that. She be like, what? 
is this? No, I'm not up yet, man. Not the meme, man. I'm telling you that you should be closing your mouth when you chew in America because in Vietnam, people chew like this, like that. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like people smack when they chew. So my mom's learning. We've been doing good. We're in the park where we take photos from mom around the literal pool so she can post on Facebook. She's saying that the ho this hotel only deserves three stars. She's saying this is not a four star hotel, this is like three stars. She's like, American hotel is not as good as Vietnam hotel. Damn. Two hours later. Now we'll hit up. Everyone hit up once, whatever you want. Three, two, two one. Six. 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 and a half hours later. And you gotta also hit it with a little... Hit it with a light. Dinner the opposite, actually. Time. <laughs> you gotta tell them what you got. I'm having pasta with meat. No, it's bullet. <laughs> <laughs> And she just got me I got that me. pasta. <laughs> Day three. Um, today we're like going to like uh, like a workout at the gym and I'm trying to take my pre-workout shit. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. What am I doing today? Working back today, okay? Hey! What we Mommy. training, baby? What we training? We're training, training back, back and chest. We're training back and chest. Brother, what? Apparently we're going to another gym. I don't know what's going on, man. Um, so basically we're moving to another gym. <laughs> Isa was like setting up all the bars and shit. Yeah, she was so list. ready to go. <laughs> all right, let's start with some pull-ups. Let's go. You're not training with anybody else? What? You're not training with everybody else? You're doing your own thing. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? The chest is like a little I'm going to have to go to the next one. No, I don't think so. Watch. I realized that this whole time you were not on my mouth, sweetheart. Knowing me through reels, Y'all must think that I'm like probably like very extroverted and like love yapping with people and stuff, but in reality, I feel like I'm like an extroverted introvert. So I'm like, I'm good with like smaller groups and like one on one, but when I'm like with like a whole group, that's not my jam. I haven't done like this in a minute. Bro, like, what have I been doing? I haven't done any like of these exercises in a minute. All right, time to change. I'm changing into the next collection. Oh my god, I like this. I love this. All right, three, two, one. Going on a cultural tour? Yeah, we are. Yep. Literally starving, bro. What are these? Food? Yeah. Listen, boy, this is an expensive piss. It's three dollars a piss. I. Right, this is an expensive one. Let's make it worth it. I. Right. Hi, good morning. This is gonna be a super quick yapping sesh because I do need to be out of here in like literally six minutes, seven minutes because I, I I'm, we're having another team dinner. Okay, I was trying to like raise my voice and be sound energetic again, but I can't lie with y'all, I'm exhausted. Today's like day three and like the last day before we leave tomorrow. And something I learned is that just because you exhausted, doesn't mean that the time you had is wasted, you know? Like, just because you had fun doesn't mean that being exhausted from it is not valid. Okay, anyways, that's not the main point of what I was yapping about. What I was yapping about is, this is like the first time I get like in the environment of a bunch of people and like making friends. Because before that, I was in my college bubble. Everyone I see every single day is like all the people I know already. 
So I'm like not in the mood of like actively making new friends. But um, what I have realized is that this is like something I always kind of knew. But then I just like got reminded like hard. This is a remi reminder for me and y'all is that not everyone needs to be your best friend. There's some people that like, people could be acquaintances and not everyone needs to be your best friends. And you don't have to like force connection with other people. If y'all hit it off, it's good. But if not, it's not your fault. So like don't waste your energy forcing connection, like let it flow. I used to be like one of those people who like feel super bad if I don't like hit it off immediately with someone and like not becoming someone best friends after like first couple times of talking. But I realized that it's better to be selected and have a smaller circle and like it's fine and like for surface level friendship is fine or like you can call it acquaintance or whatever. Those are fine, not everyone supposed to be your best friend, like imagine being so easy going with your time and energy that everyone gets to be your best friend like hell nah like, you gotta be selective with your energy brother i literally like draw energy from being by myself or being like with a close friend group or like with one other person rather than like being in a group being in a group just like not energize me just drains my energy because um like i don't really get to know anyone that much but anyways we got we can go talk deeper about this another day but today that's it we're going to dinner okay we just Checking out the hotel room. Just make sure nothing else left. No, nothing is left to add. Okay, bye. Damn. Mom brought some food. Mmm. She was hanging out with her friend and she got hella food.